Memorial Day, which honors the fallen of all of America's wars, got its official start after the American Civil War. But the ritual of honoring war dead at a specific time goes back thousands of years. Most ancient cities would separate the dead from the living by burying them well outside their walls. But ancient Spartans would bury their fallen soldiers in their city as a way of honoring them. And after the famous battle with the Persians that was depicted in the movie 300, the Greek historian Herodotus memorized the names of every fallen soldier. The first American incarnation of the day was in 1868, when General John Logan declared Decoration Day for the purpose of decorating the graves of fallen soldiers in the brutal war that had ended only three years earlier. On the first Decoration Day, flowers were strewn on the graves of over 20,000 Union and Confederate soldiers who were buried at Arlington National Cemetery. By 1890, Decoration Day was adopted at the state level across the entire nation. With the tragically massive loss of life in World War I, the holiday was expanded to include the fallen military members in all American wars and came to be known as Memorial Day. And in 1971, in the thick of the Vietnam conflict, Memorial Day became an official federal holiday. Like Veterans Day, Memorial Day began as a way to honor veterans of a specific war and was later expanded to include veterans of all wars. Memorial Day is distinct in that it specifically recognizes the military personnel who gave their lives defending their country. Many other countries have holidays where they honor their war dead in similar fashion. Russia does this on Victory Day, Great Britain on Remembrance Day, Australia and New Zealand on Anzac Day, to give just a few examples. When you're a veteran, every day is Memorial Day. All who have served know that the risks are high but the reward of freedom is higher. Part of the camaraderie that we share is the knowledge that for those who have sacrificed everything, we will never forget.